My name is Louise here, Auckland, New Zealand. I'm standing outside Queen's Wharf. I'm going to go for a walk to the end. We're going to walk right down to the end of it. So it's Wednesday afternoon. So here we go. And I'm outside the ferry building. This is where you, a couple of restaurants in here. Uh, also, this is where you can catch the ferries across to the other side of the harbour. And also you can get a ferry to the islands do a harbour cruise, whatever. Right downtown, here we are. This is Commercial Bay. Hello, Deborah. nice. Thank you so much for joining my channel. And I hope you're going to enjoy these little walks around New Zealand. We do get out of the city occasionally. I like to get out and enjoy it and share it all with you. So we're downtown Auckland. And let me just say hello to you. <laughs> let me just turn. That's me. <laughs> Just in case you're wondering what I look like, Pete, awesome, Dave, fantastic, nice to see you all. Let's get on with the walk. Cool. You got me live. You're from Mississippi. Yes. I've actually been to the art gallery today, to the Mary Quant exhibition, which was amazing. Had lunch with a friend, then we had coffee, then we did some shopping, so I'm a little bit delayed. Um, you'll probably find I don't broadcast at regular times for that very reason. It's really hard for me to schedule a time. So, <laughs> yes, so there we go. We're just looking, I just laugh at these people who are just having a bit of a chat to me here. We're looking down towards the Viaduct Harbour in that direction. Gorgeous day, Pete, it's hot. We've got a few clouds, which means we may get a shower of rain later, which will clear the air. We're outside the gorgeous wooden gate, uh, wooden um, iron gates here. They stretch all the way along here, all the way along the port. And if you can see here, they do say A H and then B Auckland Harbour Board. So this was brought in from England in 1910. Yeah. But I'm going to take you for a walk. The, um, this is a really, really interesting wharf. It's open to the public. And we're going to walk through. Um, I did put a little description there of the things we're going to see on the way. I didn't know there was going to be a big container ship in. <laughs> it's really gorgeous, Deborah. Yeah, I didn't realise there was a big container ship in. And also, Te Whangai Trust, um, a local environmental group here, they're open today and they've been here watering all their beautiful plants, all their native plants, watering them, having a big tidy up, which is amazing. And yeah, oh, there, she's watering. I've just been speaking to her. <laughs> she wants me to take a plant home. <laughs> so nice umbrellas and tables here. You can sit down and you can have a coffee. So this is Te Whangai Trust community enterprise, social, environmental, economic and cultural well-being. So what they do here is you can actually, they even encourage you to purchase a plant, even just grow it in a pot. And if it gets too big for your balcony, if you live in one of these apartments here and it gets too big for your balcony, you can always just bring it back and swap it for a smaller size. <laughs> So the ferry building is one of my favourite buildings in Auckland. This is it here, built in 1912. The style of architecture for all you architecture buffs out there is Imperial Baroque. Now don't ask me how I can remember that, but it's the one style of architecture I can remember. And probably because it's just so random. Imperial Baroque. <laughs> Recycling plants. Yes, Pete. Look at them all. These are all natives and normally they'd be growing in forests. So they encourage people, and just in small pots, encourage people to buy them, adopt them, take them home and look after them. It's really cool. Really, really cool. We've got a basketball court here. Beautiful. Nothing but love. Yes. Got a basketball court here. That's Shed 10. We're going to walk down between Shed 10 and the cloud. Oh, there we go. Get your free plant today. Ah, free plant. And they have a potting demonstration every 15 minutes between 9 and 10 and 1 to 3. Oh, it's 10 to 3 now. Whoa, hey, nice to see you, Latonya. Awesome. Thanks for joining. Whoa. 
Okay, let's have a look. We will, so the, this is their office they're working out of here. Pretty cool office space. A few, few nice big dense clouds today, which are good. Having a bit of fun here. Okay, let's have a look at this big, big container ship here. It's huge. And it's all rusty. And we'll have a look at the water. So, yeah. Great idea. I reckon it is. It's really good. And you know, it brings something to the city that we wouldn't normally have. So we're downtown Auckland. The, we've got apartments, we've got warehouses, we've got lots of eating and restaurants down here. Uh, this is awesome. That big tall building there is our highest apartment building, Pacifica. The old buildings and the new. There's Sky Tower just poking through there. Hopefully we'll get another view of it. This is sort of like, this is Commercial Bay, so this is shopping centre, lots of eating in here as well. Hey, Judy Ron, how's it going? Nice to see you. Woo, lovely, fantastic. Here we go, we're just having a look over here at this huge ship. Wow, it, oh, container ship, look at it. I'm not sure what was had on board, but usually they have cars and buses and trucks. The customs vehicle is just, um, just down here. Oh, nice to see you all. No swimming here. No swimming. <laughs> no swimming. <laughs> these are actually Admiral Steps, and these were built for, I think it was King Edward uh, when he came to visit New Zealand. Yeah. Gigi, nice to see you. Well, it's huge, isn't it? We'll just see if we can get a look at the back of it. It's usually maybe registered in Panama. Uh, Pas not, pa not Panama, Madeira, Pasama. <laughs> Gary, awesome, nice to see you. Well, Pasama, Madeira, and then it's got uh, underneath that, I can't go any further because it's a security fence. Underneath that, it's got like an ID number. Hey, thanks for joining you guys. Awesome, awesome. You're in Auckland, New Zealand, and we're going to walk to the end of Queen's Wharf here. So join me, we've got some interesting um, stuff to look at on the way. When we get to the end, you're going to be able to see the ferries going past and get a view of the harbour. Nice to see you, Gigi. Wow, all the old Periscope friends, fantastic. A little bit of a breeze. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Judy Ron. Awesome. We are just going to quickly walk along past this little exhibition here little photography exhibition. The images we see every day have an impact on how we see ourselves and how we see women. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, Judy Ron, you're amazing. You guys, you're all amazing. Just for, just for arriving here in New Zealand, just for joining me, you're all getting a gold star. <laughs> so we'll just go down here, Rangititeko. Beautiful cloak, look at her feather cloak. Wow. Annie, thank you so much. Oh, Piha, that's where we were last week, Lion Rock. Piha, I took you here last week. Stop. Oh my god, no way. Oh. It's so cool. What are you recording for? It's YouTube. Oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> what am I recording for? She stands right there. <laughs> oh, nice, look at those flowers. Autumn, autumn. There we go, ginkgo. Aren't they beautiful? They always remind me of Japanese fans. Still life with daughter. <laughs> the next, the next step. Whoa! Look at this. <laughs> Nothing but love. Thank you so much. Whoa! Contemporary dancer. Um, excuse me. Yes. Did you say you were recording a YouTube video? Yes. What's your YouTube channel? Louise Poppy. How do you spell that? Louise, L-O-U-I-S-E, and then P-O-P-P-Y. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. Yes. Louise Poppy. Nice. Yeah. Louise, is there a space? No. You can't put space in YouTube then. No. You can't? No. I just do travel videos around New Zealand, so yeah. Where have you been? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everywhere? Oh, Most places. Live. I'm live. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. So. <laughs> 
you're you're alive, you're alive too. <laughs> that was funny. That was funny. Pete, awesome. They're in Florida. There we go. And Marie, kia ora. How are you? Ah, oh, wahini kaha. Whoa, strong woman there. We've got water tulip. Let's get moving anyway. This looks like Grace Jones. Maybe not. It's called Kerry, but it does remind me of Grace Jones. Oh, through the looking glass. These are quite beautiful. Really quite beautiful. Oh, freedom and acceptance. Shoes. <laughs> Here we go. Granny, go, Granny, go. <laughs> yes yeah absolutely yeah absolutely that was fun i am the revolution so i've just been to mary quant today and of course she revolutionized um, fashion so it's been really interesting after seeing that i keep looking at um, the clothes that people are wearing and wondering without mary quant how would we be dressing today i mean we dress so freely and casually there's grandpa we've had grandma now we've got grandpa oh no the nancy here heads out for a wave at age 92 nancy but i do think it's a man oh look at the trees strength yes yeah, so i was just got me thinking i wonder how before mary quant everybody dressed in like sort of like dior long skirts and nipped in waists and everything was very formal then Mary Quant came along, revolutionised the whole of the fashion industry, and here we are today wearing casual, gorgeous, beautiful clothes. <laughs> and fantastic, nice to see you. Kaha strength. Okay, let's walk. Shed 10. This is one of the cruise terminals. So if you were arriving in Auckland on a cruise ship, this is most likely your point of entry. Been deserted for the last couple of years, of course. I think I met some people off the very last cruise ship that came in which was around March 2020 yeah which is amazing so to think that we have been out of business for that long I'm just going to jump in here in the shade and catch up some on some messages because I'm probably missing some of them <laughs> you're kind of granny Pete yeah whoa Fing, Fing. fantastic nice to see you looking at the cloud the cloud is amazing. The cloud was built in, I think, 2011, and it was just built as a tempor temporary event space, and it's been so popular, they've decided to strengthen it and keep it, and it's called the cloud. And sometimes it's open to the public, uh, and then we can go in and have a look. So when they're not using it for events, it's open to the public. So this is, there I am. <laughs> there I am. Kia ora, everybody. <laughs> yes, I've had several dinners and several glasses of wine with not only Duty Ron, but Dutch Maz and Joey. We've had and Mrs. Joey <laughs> and Mrs. Judy Ron. Yeah, we've had lots of lots of good times together, that's for sure. And I can't wait to be back visiting again. So we're going to walk down here between the cloud and shed 10. There's some interesting um, things just to look at on the way. So shed 10 is an old, obviously an old um, warehouse where in the old days Queen's Wharf was, was an extension of Queen Street and this is where they unloaded all the sheep and the cows off those big sailing ships that were coming in here to Auckland. So this wharf in the old days had a lot of animals just walking stomping around on top of it imagine what it was like for local maori at that time who'd never seen such animals but they were they were welcoming they said who loves the land who loves the land this photo well we can't really tell it's worn off here but this is the view of auckland in the um, early 1800s who loves doing business in the Queen Street Wharf. So this is what it looked like originally. You can see there's a few horses and carts there. Uh, we're probably standing right about where this man is here, looking up Queen Street. So look at that view and the Maori chief welcoming us here. So if we turn around and have a look, you'll get exactly the same view, but a hundred, nearly 200 years later. 
<laughs> Look at that, downtown Auckland. Whoa. <laughs> Okay, we're going to keep going. Shed 10. So it's pretty original inside with all its wooden wooden floors and very, very basic because they didn't want to lose the character of the building. But they do have all the customs and everything happening in here. Who loves to dress up? This is what I was talking about with Mary Quant. Look, the way people used to dress, we don't dress like this anymore. Ah. <laughs> oh. Well, nice to see you all. Thanks for joining. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. Oh, I do like to be beside the seaside. In the days before cars, let alone harbour bridges. If you wanted to go for a picnic on a beach somewhere, the North Shore, out in the Gulf, or even a suburb like St Helia's, you'd almost certainly start the day by getting a ferry right from here. In fact, these days the ferries go on the left-hand side and we're probably going to see some of them. And who have we got here? Ah, who loves adventure? Off to war. 1914 probably. Hiroati Waki Tipperary. It's a long way to Tipperary. Whoa. 1916. Off they were going. Off they went. We boarded the ships from here and off they went. You're getting a little bit of a history. <laughs> a little bit of a history lesson here. Sorry, the screen's pretty bright. We might be able to get a quick look inside the cloud. The doors are open, they're working in here doing something. No public past this point. It's okay, they're setting up. They're setting up for something. This is what it looks like inside. The roof is just like a giant canvas sail. So it looks like they're gonna have, um, oh, sports expo, I can see there, sports expo happening. <laughs> Big Frank, awesome. Nice to see you. Well, sorry if I missed some messages. Gary, fabulous. Um, the screen's bright, but it's okay now I'm on this side. Well, let's have a look over here. These are the sailing ships I was talking about coming in. Woohoo! Walker from hey. Scotland. On the 9th of October 1942, these two ships sailed in here Jane Gifford and the Duchess of Argyle. They were the first organised group of European settlers to come to New Zealand or come to Auckland. Look at that. And imagine sailing from Scotland to New Zealand. It would have taken months. There were no wharves then. Wow, amazing. We're going to be looking across the harbour to these two volcanoes. They're on the other side, Devonport. Yeah, wow. And fabulous, nice to see you with their bonnets and their caps. Wow, incredible. Okay, we're at the end of Shed 10. You can see there's a house on the end of the wharf here. This is our this is our meeting point. Meeting point? <laughs> this is where I'll wait for you all. This is where I'll be waiting for you. <laughs> we have a lot of fun. Tour guides, we don't want to lose our mojo. So that's why live streaming is actually so good for us because we can keep up with whatever's going on and whatever's happening and that's one of the reasons I love it and then finally I get to meet everybody and have such a fantastic time. <laughs> Queen Street, downtown Auckland, the cloud, the back of the shed, you can see it's got a win big window, that's the um, the front of the container ship over there. There's another big container ship through there as well. They do open the other side of the wharf from time to time and you're allowed to walk through. I need to need to try that out again as well. Sorry I'm just walking now because the screen will get back in the shade and then I'll see if I've got some wool. They're putting all their stuff up. So that's this weekend probably the sports expo and then the following weekend is a long holiday weekend here, so there'll be there's a market down here. I'll bring you all to the market. Rochester, fantastic. How's it going, Nikki? Nice to see Heather, fantastic. Whoa. Are you going to come in a few years, Anne Marie? Fabulous. Whoa. That's awesome. I can't wait. I can't wait. Rochester, good. 
Look at the clouds. So Aotearoa, New Zealand, the land of the long white cloud. We always have to find a good, a good white cloud. <laughs> Yeah, the temperature's probably about 26 Iron Man, 26 Celsius, which would be 52, maybe around 82, 83. <laughs> yeah, just coming to the end of the cloud, and got a con obviously we're on a wharf, so there's lots of containers on wharfs. Run the city, Auckland Marathon, Iron Man. Okay, this is coming up. Maybe this is this weekend. I'm a bit out of touch, aren't I? The lighthouse, look at this. Uh, a house on the end of the wharf. Look at that black cloud. <laughs> a house on the end of the wharf. Now, this is not a usual house. This was commissioned by a local real estate company to represent a state house or a typical government supplied house of the 1950s. It's called the Lighthouse, and it's sitting right here on the end of the wharf. Cost about $17 million to build it. A lot of people complained because, of course, we have homeless people. And why do we have a house with nobody living in it? True. Absolutely true. Sometimes it's just not fair. We're going to have a look inside because there could be somebody in there. We'll take a look inside in a moment. <laughs> the back of the cloud. Sky Tower just poking through there to the, um, the side of the PWC building. Past the cloud. Fishing. There's a ferry. Oh, nice. <laughs> there we go. There's the ferry. Yeah, OK. California, yeah. So that, we're looking across to the North Shore. The ferry is going across to Devonport. Well, there's actually quite a few ferries in the harbour. It's gorgeous, isn't it? So those, in that picture, you're actually looking, I'm going to zoom in, you're looking at four volcanoes there. What? Come on, zoom. It's, does it, did it zoom? Yes, there we go. In the very background, you can see there is a darker, looks like a dark blue, that is Rangitoto Island. The one slightly to the right of that is Takarunga or Mount Victoria. We have another one there right at the end which is Maunga Eka or North Head and the area in between Maunga Eka and Takarunga is also a collapsed volcano. There's another big container ship coming in here as well. Whoa! <laughs> it's a busy port isn't it? Sometimes they have to line up and wait for days to get in here if we have some sort of industrial dispute or something happening. Wow. I'll stay zoomed because it's good for you to get a good view at the North Shore. So the North Shore, Takapuna, lots of beaches over there, coming round the Harbour Bridge. That's how we get there. <laughs> water looks, yeah, the water is sparkling, the Waitamata, the spike, sparkling, spikling, sparkling waters of the Waitemata Harbour. Let me bring you back into normal. Fishing. <laughs> How's the fishing going today? You didn't catch any. You didn't catch any. <laughs> That's typical, isn't it? You come down all the way down here and you don't get anything. <laughs> yes, yeah, a couple of guys fishing, but they haven't caught a thing. <laughs> Yeah, they're huge, these ships that come in. You know, they have to sail all around the world. Looking at the back of the cloud. I have to tell you, I'm so happy that I can see your comments because I did, yesterday's broadcast was okay. The one before that on K Road, I didn't have any comments and I thought, oh, I'm just talking to myself. Afterwards, when I looked at it, the, the comments were there, but they hadn't shown up for me. This Sky Tower, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there's Sky Tower just through there, the tallest building in the Southern Hemisphere. This is all part of the extension to the ferry building here. So, of course, this is where you catch your ferries from. Hilton Hotel just through there, that's a different wharf. I'll take you for a walk on that wharf one of these days. 
Yes, I'm using a gimbal. Yes. Yeah. I've got so used to using a gimbal now, Ron, that I just can't do it without a gimbal. <laughs> and of course, I do it for my live streaming, my tours. So, um, which is another thing that I've got into is virtual tours, which are quite fun. Just private virtual tours with people. And of course, I need the gimbal for that. So, it's, yeah, I've got so used to it now that it feels really, really strange not, not using it. Look at the sparkling waters, though. G'day Australia, how's it going there, cuz? <laughs> oh, thank you. Michelle, awesome. Water's right here. It's gorgeous, really beautiful. We could dive in. We could just dive in. So, Auckland, the city of sails. It's quiet today. There's a couple of, oh, there's a few boats just coming in here. Looks like they've been out fishing as well. Three boats coming in, one boat going out, no swimming. Danger wharf edge. <laughs> New York, fantastic. Nice to see you. North Florida, awesome, awesome. <laughs> anyway, let's go over and have a look at the lighthouse. It is quiet. Lunchtime is usually busy down here. It's after it's 10 past three on Wednesday afternoon. But during the lunchtime, of course, all of the seating and really attracts people to come down and enjoy, take a break from from the city and come down. The cloud is amazing. There's a viewing deck up there with a view from up there is really, really gorgeous. Winnipeg. That's amazing, Winnipeg. <laughs> Northwest Indiana. Wow, Miles, fantastic. The very first people I ever met from another country came from Winnipeg. <laughs> Isn't that amazing? I grew up on a farm and there was some sort of immigration scheme at the time where they encouraged people from, obviously from other countries, to come in and work on our farms. And we had a family from Winnipeg. And it was amazing. And Mrs. McLeod, Violet McLeod, she taught my mother how to make pumpkin pie. <laughs> I've still got the recipe. It's the best pumpkin pie I've ever eaten. <laughs> you probably know them, yes. Yeah. So Keith and Gwenny were the kids. And they were the same age as me and my brother. Uh, sunshine, fantastic. And it was amazing. And the parents were Violet and Glenn McLeod. <laughs> I don't know what happened to them afterwards because you know we all grow up and you know things things change. I did keep in touch with Gwenny for a while uh, then she went to Australia and I did stuff and we all ended up losing touch. So anyway let's get back to this. This is a work of art and it's designed by Michael Parakofi who is a New Zealand artist and it represents the State House a government house of New Zealand. So two stories as you can see. This is a typical a typical example of that sort of house. We'll just see how the signal is. I get here so, up close sometimes and it goes a bit wonky so we're going to try. And it's nice here in the shade. Yeah there's the city. Okay so, oh I think I see somebody. We're going to walk around and see who that person is that does live in here. So although many people thought it was a shame that a beautiful house was built here on the wharf and nobody lived in it, it does in fact have one occupant. Shutters with typical, typical uh, Maori weaving pattern like a tuku tuku panel that you would see inside the meeting house. Yeah, there's also beautiful, we'll just get past here, come around. Also inside you can see that there is some, this is where it might go wonky when we get close to the lights. There is a, I should come down and do this at night because it's beautiful at night. But this is the night sky and all of these lights represent Matariki, the, um, the star constellation. So Matariki is the New Zealand um, New Year that is usually around the end of June. 
this year, 22nd of June, I think it is, and we're going to have a public holiday to celebrate it. <laughs> I think there's less than Red flashing lights on, yeah. yes, yeah. yeah. Hi, the man, the main group. Nice to see you. Was it the man, the man group? Fabulous. Look at the clouds. We're going to have a look in here. <laughs> okay, this is who we're looking at inside. Can we see who it is? Can you see? Get a little okay, idea. <laughs> this is Captain Cook. So Captain Cook discovered New Zealand in 1769. Here he is, all shiny and full of polished up. He's um, made from chrome. He is fantastic. Look, and sitting on his desk, he's got all his tools there with him as well. The Iron Man group, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You can see the lights. We'll have to come down at night and have a look through, but I'm not sure. So the stars, the constellation, the Matariki star system in the sky, which is also known as, ah, uh, what is it? Cycl Cyclades? Cy Pleiades. Pleiades, that's it. Thank you, boss. <laughs> There's a Pleiades man. <laughs> Thank you, boss. <laughs> Pleiades, yes. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> Uh, cost of living, yeah, cost of living is really expensive here. The average New Zealand house is just hit uh, one million New Zealand dollars. So you'd be looking at about seven hundred thousand um, US dollars. Just an average house. That's not even, not even. That's just basic. It's crazy, and the cost of living's gone up and up and up. Every time I go to the supermarket, everything costs a little bit more. And of course, we can't complain about that <laughs> because that's just what happens. Yeah. So you can go upstairs. Let's go up and just see what's happening upstairs. Yeah, Pallades, that was good. Lucky we've got people around to help out on these live streams sometimes. There we go. How's the view from up here? You're staying here? Yeah. I reckon, I reckon it would have been a good idea. They could have had a little bit of a luxury bedroom in there for us. <laughs> And it would have been even better if I had the exclusive rights to it and just let special people stay there. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Cost of living in New Zealand, yeah, it is, um, it is expensive, yeah. Um, I just had a glass of wine with my lunch, just a glass of rosé. It was $16, so that would be 10 US dollars for a glass of wine. Nice view though. Let's go up a little bit further. Yeah, so you can just, you can't access the inside, but you can get up on these stairs and have a look around. We can look down here now. <laughs> There's Mr. Pallades at the door through there looking. <laughs> so there we go, Captain Cook. There are only two of these um, statues or sculptures that have been made. One is here and the other is in the art gallery in Sydney. Australia. So we've got two of them. Downtown Auckland. We walk from the end of the wharf, looking down over the cloud. Ramona, fantastic, nice to see you. Whoa, I saw quite a few of you this morning on Dutch's um, live stream, which is great really really great so thank you very much thanks to Dutch and Judy Ron and everybody else for supporting me and encouraging encouraging me to do this <laughs> Latonia yeah expensive all right yeah really expensive there's a ferry coming in let's get down again back to the water Beautiful day though, beautiful day. I'd like a shower of rain because it's pretty humid. Pretty, pretty humid today. And we might get that rain later. Look at that cloud. Wow. <laughs> People always say to me, nowhere in the world, else in the world, do they have clouds like they have in New Zealand. Uh, possibly it's true. We're right here at the South Pacific
Are you something to do with the building? Yeah, we look after it. Oh, yeah. these, oh look, here we go. These are the bosses. I knew. Bosses, bosses. Fantastic. Whoa, awesome. I'm just doing a little um, YouTube live stream of the, of the wharf. All right. Yeah, so that was good. Thanks for the okay. Pilates. Yeah, good. So what do you, you do, we can't go well, inside, we can we? No, we can't, we're not allowed to go inside, are we? Um, not today. Not today? <laughs> but we could arrange it. Um, it's not for me to be seen from it's, inside. It's no, I, I know. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I know, I know. It's fantastic. I love it. It's really, really good. Anyway, good on you for keeping an eye on it and making sure that it's all okay. It's a, it's a big baby. It's a big baby. <laughs> Very good. It does have a back door. Of course, we can't go in. <laughs> Pennsylvania, awesome. Big puffy clouds. No, I don't think the pay's gone up. I don't think the pay's gone up. Um, but you know, there's a lot more opportunities for work now. I think people have made the most of lockdowns in the current situation. A lot of people have come back from overseas and developed new businesses here. So things have changed. Just, they were saying the other day that all the Teslas, all the cars that are coming in, it's just really changing the face of New Zealand. Yeah which is a bit crazy. Oh, because some people, some people are going to get left behind, of course. Look at that cloud. <laughs> some people get, get left behind, which is sad. And also, you know, it's the world we live in now, too. It's a tough world. It's a pretty tough world. It's okay from behind a camera though, isn't it? <laughs> it always looks so nice. <laughs> but there we go, the white mata. But I just want to say thank you very much everybody for joining me. And if you've followed me, that's even better. That's fantastic. Um, I will just turn and say hello again. Oh, there we go. <laughs> there I am. Kia ora. Thank you so much for joining me. Um, I've loved walking with you and thanks to everybody for your support. Stephanie, awesome. <laughs> hey, nice to see you. Whoa. Oh, fantastic. That is lovely. Thanks, Ray. Awesome. Yep, I'm usually doing this every day and I don't usually schedule a time. I go at different times. Um, I'm more spontaneous than anything else. Yeah. Um, and Indigenous, no, we're all mixed up together. Auckland's the largest Polynesian city in the world, so we're all here together, yeah, which is really, really great. And um, yeah, so it's, Auckland's got a really, really cool vibe to it. It's really great, yeah. So thanks very much, everybody. We're gonna turn again. I'm gonna finish and I'll be taking you, you know, I'm taking you around New Zealand. We get there slowly. Um, because I can't travel everywhere. <laughs> I do have things to do, but I try and give you as much variety as possible. So it's really great. Hi there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, nice spot. <laughs> I know, he's just saying this whole building just for a statue. They won't even let us go inside. <laughs> Yeah, he needs a wind up, yeah. Hey everybody, thank you so much for joining me. It was fun. I love this walk with you. Lovely, lovely group of people that you are. So thank you so much. And um, yeah, the clouds are always gorgeous. Michelle, fantastic. Yeah, I reckon we could probably just finish with a ferry coming in. How's that? Or, yeah, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Thanks so much everybody, kia ora and ka kete, and we'll see you again soon. Thank you. Oh, I can hear an air, oh, helicopter. Okay, see you, thank you so much. Okay, bye for now. <laughs>